Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, synchronize your Roland TR-8 with the Denon SC6000. And um, I kind of did a little teaser on the group earlier, and so I was gonna tell people how to do it on the YouTube video, so here it is, I'm gonna tell you how it's done. As I was updating the firmware on this thing, because I just bought this, I had this a long time ago, right? And after I got rid of it, something that happened was that Serato DJ Pro actually got a firmware update that allowed this thing here to be synchronized with Serato, right? And now Serato has Ableton Link in it, and so does the, the Denon SC6000, right? So I was thinking, hold on a sec, maybe this all talks to each other and will work. So sure enough, it was very simple. Um, first thing I do, you got to make sure you have everything updated, the latest firmware on this, which is easy to go find. And here's the secret, right? You see the tempo here, right? So to make this thing synchronous, like you plug your USB into Serato and all you have to do is hold down the tap and click over to the right. Uh, did I do this right? Yes. So that says it's 122. This says it's 122. And if we adjust the tempo on this, there we are at one, or it's 125.4. And over here you see we're 125.4, right? Now, the other secret to this is the link. See that link up in the corner there? Click link. Now instead of sync, you see link there. You hit link and we have, this is 127 because the reason it's 127 because my Denon player is at 127. New track loading in here. And it's coming from Beatport link. So it's got to like do its thing. So now it's in there when I hit sync, now it's at 127 because this was at 127. Now, if I move this back down, I can make it back to 124. See, that's at 124. This is at 124. So there's this thing. You don't need to have your Serato up and running, but I do find keeping a loop does seem to kind of help matters a little bit here because now when we have this going, right? And you might need to pitch bend for a second, but not really. So now watch, when we adjust this, let's go up. And it's going up as fast as I can move it. Not losing it. Stay nice and tight together. So that was it um you know pretty simple probably didn't need to do a full four minutes of this but it just gives you an idea that this works um so yeah it's a matter of having serato running and you know most people have a laptop kicking around so it's not a big deal um and because i already have this stuff anyways this works 
Now really, do you need to go through all that trouble to synchronize everything? Yeah, not really because you know what? I still think personally, if you're playing techno and stuff where you're using drum machines, you're not really changing the tempo on the fly like that anyway. So it really is just as easy to just set your tempo here on, you know, like set that. And then let me go over here and just set it manually. And don't even use the synchronization because then you just bang that on when you need it. You know, make some adjustments here on the pitch bend or whatever with the wheel. Line it up. And you're good. You know what I mean? Like good old fashioned, just beat match this stuff. Because that's what I'm doing over here as well too with the um, this unit. Now what's kind of cool, as I'm doing this, you know, my uh, AS1 Pioneer is hooked up through here as well too. Side chained in there to get that pumping uh thing going on but you know what this follows that so that's fine you know what i mean i don't necessarily need to have it all but it's cool that you can do it if you needed to but really honestly i don't need to you know what i mean so anyways that's how it's done uh any other questions about anything feel free to drop them in the comments subscribe to the channel if you haven't already uh hit the alert button so when i do a new video you know what's going on because i don't have a real schedule anyways and uh, we'll talk to you all soon.